All right, so I just got back home. Don't mind this zoomed in base here. It's just, I wanted to give you a little bit of an apartment tour, so I was gonna play some clips, but you know what? Let's just walk you right through my apartment. That way you guys can kind of see the whole thing. Now don't mind that it's not fully furnished. It's probably not gonna be fully furnished for about another month or maybe even two months at the most. I wanna do a little bit at a time and not go crazy. I don't wanna use credit cards. I wanna pay for everything in cash. So taking my time to furnish it and do things the right way. That way I'm not having payments. This is the kitchen here. So nice kitchen, white countertops, full stove. I actually have a full dishwasher now. I don't know. The one that I had in LA was like half that size. It was like a mini dishwasher, so that was kind of annoying. I got this nice candle that I light at night. This is really good. I got this at Target. Uh, confidence and Freedom. It smells really good. So I've been lighting that up at night. Got the flat top. I'll show you guys what's in my fridge for now. So I got some egg whites. I've got cold brew coffee. Protein, nut milk, stuff's good with cereal. The name is terrible, I, I assume they did that for marketing, I don't know. Um, and then I've got some prep meals that I'm gonna have for the rest of the day. So this one has rice. Um, the other four do not have rice because I've got stuff in the freezer that I'll show you in a second. I got the Brita, I still need to get another filter for that. I've got some blueberries, strawberries, some water down there. I still need to write a quote for the day. I did not write my quote today. Um, Ezekiel bread, I love this with the egg whites in the morning, pretty much have that every day. I've got some chicken frozen that I'll probably cook on the grill tomorrow, maybe tonight, I don't know. Um, but these are what I'm going to have with the other two meals that I have there, or other four, sorry. I've got some that I'm going to do just the veggies, which is the broccoli, and then I've got some that I'm going to do um, this Mediterranean blend, which has the veggies and some potatoes in there. So, And then this is the living room. Obviously not that extravagant right now. There's nothing in it but boxes, so I haven't really been able to use my living room yet. Um, but the idea that I want to go with here is I want to do an L couch right there, a little coffee table in the middle, TV up on the wall, and then maybe like a, I don't know, like an entertainment stand of some sort on the bottom. Maybe like a, maybe like a lamp. So, so far what I have in here is the desk. Um, this was kind of like the essential thing that I had to have so I can get some work done and focus and get the things done that I need to get done. So this desk is from Ikea. It does a Linmon tabletop and then Alex George on the bottom. This is just a cheap light. I don't know the model of the chair. I just got a makeshift chair for now. And then I need to do something about all the cables there. I'm gonna buy like a rack to manage those a little bit better, but that's kind of my desk that I have. And as you go into here, don't mind this, these boxes were all in there. So actually, let's clean that up real. All right, that's a lot better. So nice, clean hallway. And this is the bedroom situation. Again, don't mind the clothes. I still need to get a dresser for in here. But uh, yeah, I got an air bed for now. Some clothes over here, these are like the sheets, airbed pump. I got a nice big closet. And the idea for the bedroom here is I want the bed to be along right there. A nightstand, another nightstand. And then on this wall I want to put a TV as well. And then this is the bathroom area. Got the sink over here. Nice mirror, good lighting. Got the shower curtain here, and I actually want to change this. I don't want to keep the red. I just have it from my old apartment, so I just decided to bring it. I didn't want to spend money on a new one right just yet. Um, but I want to do like a navy blue theme in here. So like a white curtain with some navy blue in it, navy blue mat, navy blue mat, and then just kind of hang up towels and all that good stuff. So just have my scale in here right now. This is the second area. That is awesome. I actually have a full washer dryer now. So that's actually really, really nice because in my old apartment in LA, I did not even have a washer dryer. I had to use a laundry room and it was okay, but it's like $4 every time you ran it. So like I would always wait until I had like a lot of stuff to actually run it. So I wasn't running it really as much as I wanted to and then clothes would go dirty and 
yada yada yada. So it's gonna be nice to actually have, it's actually already been nice. I've only been here for five days and I think I've already used it twice. So that's really nice to have. And um, overall, I'm loving it here. So I also have this balcony, which is great. It goes out to the pool area. So I have a nice pool view, which is something I actually was not expecting um, when I moved in. So this is the balcony. And it's really, really quiet. The walls in here are really nice. Like, I've just noticed such a difference living here versus living in LA already, because in LA I was off of a main street. Um, I lived off of La Brea, so there was always sirens, ambulance, police cars, honking horns, everything, all day, every day. So, it's been nice, like I wake up and it's quiet, like I go to bed and it's, it's quiet, like I haven't heard any neighbors. This apartment has just been so much better on just my peace of mind because when I come home I can actually like relax and I'm not stressed out and agitated. I already love this place, but just having like furniture and getting it to my liking and my comfort and just making it like an oasis that I, I love to spend time in. Because that was again something that I didn't have in LA. Like I would, I, I like did not want to be in my apartment. I always wanted to go out to a Starbucks. I wanted to go somewhere because I didn't want to be in my apartment because it was so small and it just wasn't comfortable. So I want to really make this like home. I want to make it comfortable because at the end of the day that's going to help me to be more productive and just to be able to recharge and rest better. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys my apartment. Again, we're gonna do more vlogs coming up. I'm gonna get you guys back on the workouts, keep you guys up to date. I'm gonna do a full day of eating here soon. And yeah, just keep pumping out this good content for you guys. I enjoy doing these videos, and I think having this space is gonna help me to be just a lot more productive in making this content. The biggest pluses for me have pretty much been like, just the fact that I can actually like drive places, like I can get around and not be stuck in traffic. It's not gonna take me an hour to go eight miles. Like literally I can just drive around and it's nice because I always felt like I was like so landlocked in LA. Like I couldn't, like I was stuck. Unless I wanted to spend like an hour in a commute, then I was pretty much stuck. Here. Honestly, this is just, great because it's like such a it's got such a small town feel to it but then if you want to get that entertainment and that you know nightlife and everything you just go up the street to the strips so yeah I'm excited I think this is gonna be a great place for me to grow and to learn and just to do what I want to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again we got more videos coming soon make sure you give this a thumbs up if you did if you have questions about like maybe living in Vegas, I don't know, maybe that's something some of you are kind of curious about. Uh, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer it. So again, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video.